Hello, guys. <laughs> uh, I have many goals. Yaroslav, congratulations. Thank you. To come back and put on a performance like that, a near flawless performance after everything you've been through and experienced this past year, can you put into words what you're feeling right now? Uh, Mike, please, uh, uh, I think I understand, but what, 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 what are the yeah? What are the emotions like right now? Yeah, I, I feel uh, very good because I wait this time, long time, and uh, I training hard training. And uh, I I feel in uh, big motivation, but I feel uh, artistic responsibility, responsibility, responsibility. Yeah, and uh, I won't feel in this time because now I relax. I relax after fight. There was a strong and, you... uh, and I happy because I think I give uh, for my country a good day. You had great support from your, your Ukrainian uh, counterparts or, yes, or, or it's compatriots. First it's first time when I have big support in the uh, octagon. Uh, yeah, of course, uh, America. I I fight in every time, but uh, I have support, but not how today. What did it what did it mean to to you to see the Ukrainian flags in the crowd in many Ireland? Many Ukrainian flag, many Ukrainian people, many people I know. I know many people. My my uncle, my uh, friends, I I see many people, many people big support and the, it's give me big energy. Very big energy. It's an amazing story, your story, and it's been kind of the biggest one in MMA this week. Can you give a message to your Ukrainian people after after a win like that? What is your message to your people? Uh, thank you, my country. Thank you, my army for defense of my country. And uh, it's it's for my country. And uh, today, I think it's a very good day for my country. And uh, two belt goal to Ukraine. Was that the best performance of your career to date? Best. Was that the best performance of your career? You think it's my best? I think so. Do you think so? I don't know. Many see uh, fight, but I think yeah. Do you think that I you are the good? Do you think that you're the best middleweight in the world? Of course. <laughs> well, sorry, welterweight. Of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> yes. Yaroslav, congratulations on a beautiful performance. The first fight between you and Logan Storley, yes. very close. Some people even saying maybe he lost. This time it was completely different. What did you change up? Uh, so, <clears throat> before fight, I say this fight different because my last, my first time with him, it's a, a different camp, different uh, fight, different uh, my recovery, everything different. I have uh, many... I have many kilograms I cut. Uh, I have two fights in two two, uh, two months. Uh, I'm not recovery and uh, I the uh, latter give me fight. Uh, so offered offered me fight uh, and I have uh, only maybe six or four weeks and I start. But I I have uh, many kilograms. Uh, I just relax after last fight. And now I have very good camp, my body recovery, um, different training, and uh, time time go and uh, every day I better. Every day I training, I hard training every day, and uh, I have good team, best best team, and uh, doesn't matter who who fighting with, with me i must think not who fighting with me i must think about myself about me yes were you surprised that logan stoli was able to take so many shots because you hit him pretty hard right <laughs> uh he very good fighter 
and uh, I know this. Uh, all people who go this cage, strong and hard. So it's uh, if you go this cage, you fight a big uh, high level. The, our people have high level, uh, and uh, it's not surprise for me. But I'm ready. Two more questions for me. Yeah, Johnny Eblen was here, and he was talking very highly about. I killed this guy. <laughs> no, no, it's no, no. My, it's my friend. <laughs> yeah. It's my friend, and uh, I train with him every time. We we we. We, when we training, it's uh, every time part training. This guy, very, he have a very high level. He, very good fighter. He really champion. And uh, when we sparring, many people uh, see this sparring. And uh, we two fighters every time I punch he 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 punch me and they, every time this so it's I think it's very beautiful training and uh, sometimes I train with him and uh, we we talk today light yes okay light yeah 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 of course light one minute <laughs> together not have condition after <laughs> every time hard training every time. So Yaroslav, it's all about you, but I want to ask you about Dmitry Hiritsenko. Did you watch his fight? And yes. what, what do you think he's going to do in this Bellator uh, promotion? It's my friends. Uh, he from Ukrainian. I trained with him long time. But I think uh, uh, it's my brother, you know. He's not related, but he's like a little brother to him. My little brother and... Uh, but this anyway. Uh, Mike say give a uh, Gritsenko contract. So I congratulation this guy. He good fighter. He uh, have everything. He complete fighter. Striking, wrestling, grappling, everything. Good condition, good mentality. Uh, Very strong mind. Smart, mind-up. smart. So uh, I think uh, this guy uh, this uh, guy, yeah, uh, he not have this fight. He not have camp. He now he have contract. Uh, so he army. He he was fighting. He was in the army. Like yeah, he literally a- left ten days ago. They finally got him out, but he was on the front line. So his training would be like crazy you know, soldiers guy. holding hands and. Him. Right? Huh? He also has to go back immediately, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But now he has a contract, so now you know they can. Ukrainian can style, <laughs> army and go fight. <laughs> Thank, you, Thank you. Sorry, Amosel. Just one of you don't mind. Um, when we spoke on Thursday, it seemed like the the pressure and the responsibility of representing Ukraine was starting to get to you, and it looked like it was taking its toll on you. But when you took the walk today, you had a big smile on your face and you looked like you had not a care in the world. What changed between Thursday and today in your mind? Uh, I think it's because Tuesday, Thursday, Thursday, uh, when start uh, interview, many questions uh, about Ukrainian about war, and uh, for me it's pressure. It's me. Uh, a little bit vulnerable. So. You were nervous, little, little worried. But today, when I when when I uh, 
see YouTube when Gritsenko fighting hands. I, I, I see many people from Ukrainian and I understand it's a big support, big energy. And uh, when I see, uh, when I listen uh, my my music, Ukrainian, I, uh, it's for me big motivation, big energy. And uh, I think, yeah, it's my time. It's for my country. It's my time. Okay. Uh, so today you didn't slow down. Not a single round did you slow down. Uh, and you kept the pressure on your opponent the whole time. Like, Was cardio such a big part of your camp as well? And did you intentionally try to keep the pressure on your opponent? Uh, or was it something that came during the fight? Это была стратегия в бою, и только как ушат бой начал развиваться, ты увидел, что выше на него давить, и как ты бы не отпускать. I feel him. if I pressure, he, he not working. And uh, my corner, my brown say me, you must every time play, 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 you must fake. And uh, I do this. Sometimes uh, I relax after I go uh, my corner and uh, my say again, yeah, normal, normal. You must many, many times fake. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I think it's game plan and uh, my my feel. It's a combination of both, yeah. Yeah. So you are now one of the maybe the best welterweight fighter on the planet. Um, does it annoy you? Because sometimes in combat sports, we don't always see the best fighting the best. Is there part of you that is annoyed by the fact that we might never see you test yourself against those UFC names as well? You know, but, uh, не всегда лучшие бойцы могут биться с лучшими бойцами. Тебе как-то ты заказал, что у тебя может не быть тех шансов, допустим, побиться с UFC чемпионом. Минут нет UFC чемпион. Беватер номер один. I'm here. If UFC чемпион want fighting, come. Come to Беватер. Скотт Кокер give this contract. And uh, we we make fight. You have the best record in America. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Thank you guys.